Welcome back on the AM show. Have you ever heard of the bold new normal? If you haven't, it isn't too late because guess who joins me in the studio to tell us all about this event? Lucy Quist. Yes, we know her and all the other, you know, strata that she's operated in. But today she's joining us to talk about the bold new normal and she's author and convener of this event. Good morning, Lucy. Good morning. How are you? I'm okay. Especially when the evergreen Lucy <laughs> is in the studio makes for a very good conversation. You're very Let's kind, start thank with you. The, the bold new normal. You've been doing this for, for a while now? Yes. What is the bold new normal? You know, the bold new normal first started out as a book. So the book was actually Indeed. published five years ago. And it was born out of my desire to really question and challenge and effectively guide us towards how we create our prosperity as Ghanaians, as Africans. Subsequently, in 2022, the book evolved into a conference. So now we, I host an annual conference. It's a conference where change makers and thought leaders come together to really um, not just talk and discuss, but plan how we are going to create more prosperous outcomes for ourselves um, in, the, on this, in this country and on this continent. So this year is the third Bold New Normal Conference. And it, it makes for a lot of interesting perspective because you have the, the African continental free trade area, you have all of these developments. Ghana has the HQ, the exactly. Secretariat here. Exactly. Some would say, are we tapping into it enough? How does this conference envision you know, bringing those indices into the picture? This, that's an awesome question. So one of the things we've consistently done is one of our speakers every single year, right from the book launch to you know, the next conference, has been David Ofosudoti, who oh, is a okay. stalwart of everything to do with the free trade agreement, also Afro champions. And I use him as an example to epitomize the fact that there are, there's the Africa or Ghana that people talk about where we talk about everything that's gone wrong. And then there's the Ghana of the, and the Africa of change makers, of people like you, people like David, people like myself, who are consistently focused on how do we actually make change, not by talking about it, but the actions and activities we need to do to move forward. So you ask a specific question about free trade. Free trade as a policy and as an agreement and as a document to ratify across countries has made a lot of progress, but it hasn't made sufficient progress in practice. Sure. Right? I still need to do all the checks when I get to the Togolese border. I still need to present my passport to various there countries. Recently. There you still go. Hectic. So the, the point of the conference is to take what we know and envisage to be the future we want, and we, we really articulate that in detail specifics, into what do I as an individual have to do differently to make that uh, future possible. And, and it's all about possibilities, isn't it? It is about possibilities, but it's also about the realization of translation possibility into what you see around you. Mm. I always tell people that everything we see, even this building, it was in someone's mind. Yeah. Someone's mind dreamt up this building and we constructed it. Someone's mind dreamt the road we ride on and then we built it. Right. So we need to move our minds, not just from the, I wish X was different and I envisage to, okay, I can envisage what I want differently, but now I'm going to actually take the action, whether it's for myself, for my family, for my community or my country, I will actually do the work to make it possible. So from conceptualization to actualization. Actualization is the key word. Let's talk about the theme for this year's event, uh, transforming mindsets, and of course we all need that, creating leaders of prosperity. How does this, the nexus between this and what we're talking about on the continent of Africa? So, I, you know, there isn't a single conversation I have about our progress and our development that someone doesn't say, oh, but Lucy's all about the leadership, right? And we could spend all morning, all day talking about leadership. But where I challenge people to, is that everybody has leadership within them. And the reason why I say that is that we all influence somebody. You may even influence just one person. You may feel it's just your little sister that you have influence, but you're still influencing her. So my point is that how do we start to become leaders within our sphere of influence? Mm. Whether I'm a school teacher, a head girl, a, a doctor in your own little corner. Mm. Because if we can now start to behave as leaders in the small corners we have, we start to exhibit the behaviors that we expect of leaders when they get the bigger platforms. Because remember, the formation of a leader is not when they get the job. 
if you haven't been formed with the right characteristics of a leader, when you get the big job, you're just going to amplify what you know already. So this is where we're talking creating leaders of prosperity. Now, I use the word character. Our characters are based on our mindsets and how we think. So our goal at the conference is to help shape that mindset and that thinking that then makes us leaders that create prosperity, even within our corner in our own little ecosystem. Absolutely. How are we becoming leaders? You've spoken about prosperity, uh, you know, quite a number of times now. And I know that is one of the catchphrases or yes. catchwords, yes. if you want, if you may. But for a first time attendee at this event, what can such a person expect? Where is this event going to be held? Who can join? Okay. So first of all, who can join is everybody as long as where, where i encourage people is that look we have a number of change makers who feel isolated they feel oh but lucy you say i should do it in my little corner i'm the only one in my little corner that cares actually at this conference a lot of the little corner people show up everybody doing different things shows up the second thing is that you actually may be curious you may be thinking to yourself i'd love to be a change maker but i don't know where to start i hear all these People talk and they show up on TV like I am this morning and talk about it, but I don't know where to start. You need to be there. It's on the 26th of October at Pearly Gate Gardens in East Ligon. We start at 8 a.m. and every day it's 8 a.m. sharp. Come have your breakfast and let's get moving. But now to the, the heart of your question, prosperity. I need to be very clear. Prosperity is about having opportunity to self-actualize. Mm. Be prosperity isn't about I gave you a million cities. Prosperity is that God-given talent and ability and passion you have within you. Do you have the opportunity to actually actualize it, to do things, to make things happen, to drive your, your own realization of what is possible in your life? We talk about what we need as a country and as a continent. Some of the things we need are really basic. Good health care, good education access to a decent job, so on and so forth. But we are the ones to create it. We are the ones to take the action to create it. And that's why the conference is essential. Now, to put a little bit more meat on the bone. Just briefly on that. Very, very briefly. We start by demonstrating what self-actualization actually looks like. So our, our early morning speakers will be our young people who are actually doing that. Then we go into uh, more seasoned speakers who have maybe been at it for 30 years, 40 years. So we give you a vision of where you could end up. Right. And then we close with a masterclass that I host where you create your own plan of what you're going to do based on everything that you've heard in the conference. Well, interesting times. And we wish you the very best on this chapter as we all support you yes. to actualize the dream of that bold new, new normal, normal for Ghana, for Africa, and maybe for the entirety of the Absolutely. world. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for coming. And awesome. that is business and tech executive, but also, yes, author and convener <laughs> of the Bold New Normal Conference. Lucy Quest joined us in uh, the studio. You'll want to partake in that event.